this historic stadium, home to the Iron Horse and the Great Dane, to Wilson and Alvarez. Camp Randall Stadium in Madtown, home to the Wisconsin Badgers. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Wisconsin Badgers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Alabama about to kick off to get this game underway. Fielded in the end zone. It's Barry Johnson. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. The Badgers' offense will start this game off. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get in the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. <gasps> Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. This is the kind of game, a top 25 matchup in the early season that you look for when you're trying to build your resume. Yeah, these are so fun because as a player, you kind of get bored if you don't get challenged. But when you've got an early season challenge like this, all the adrenaline, all the juice, Palmer, you're ready to rock and roll. I love this. He holds it in and nobody's close. I love when you back the defense off of me. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more concerned, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. They march to the red zone, and here they go. Got his man quick. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. People like to say conference affiliation doesn't matter. But you get the SEC against the Big Ten, and there's no denying, there's a little extra juice in the building. Definitely extra juice. The best two conferences, the biggest conferences, Palmer. Everybody talks about these being the power brokers and deciding the future of college football. So, yes, it matters. A lot of blue bloods in both conferences, David, you're right. I think it's something players are also very aware of, too, is having that conference pride, wanting to win this game, representing the rest of the teams in their conference. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the defense. The play action fake. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14 yard line. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Williams. Slips through the line. No oh, what a move! Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. The offense set for a first down play. Back to pass, it's Van Dyke. A little screen to the running back. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Oh, look out! There he goes! He rolls off! Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal. So nice, pretty, explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting the red inside the five. Go punch this in and get a touchdown. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Let's go. Why 
wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the run. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run up. Touchdown, Wisconsin! And they made it to the house when they found that six... give to the running back defense in the right spot they stop him after a gain of two to the 28 picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down he's looking to throw caught close to the marker it's Bernard they make the stop but this passing game does some damage and they move the sticks with the first down Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. The give to the back. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Really good looking run. You know, you think about the legacy Alabama has at the running back position. It's ridiculous. Mark Ingram on a Heisman, obviously, Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs. I'm gonna go back to Sean Alexander, who I played against back in the day, too. All these guys had speed, all these guys had vision and quickness. And this guy right here, he has all of those traits himself. Just another big time town in the Crimson Tide backfield. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. On the move, it's Milrow. A little release to the back. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And the ball's out there after it. Now the defense has got it going the other way. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack. Even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away and use those long arms to create the turn. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chain. And most importantly, you're right. You don't force a short yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage. He got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Badger. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. Running out of time here in the first half. They do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, the best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. 
A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. He's moving out of the pocket. At the 40, there he goes. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. On the run, it's Milrow. Back open in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. He's looking to throw. Wiggles free. But he can't get away again, and down he goes, and the trickeration is not so tricky. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They're trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And it'll be down right there. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far in Madison, and welcome in to the halftime update. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's head back to a great scene there in Camp Randall. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. They've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude. Running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you are this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime, you riled yourselves up, you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They'll give it to him again. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Leaves it with the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have not been good enough in the trenches so far. To the air, it's Milro. Pressure coming. Smashes through. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Alabama pushing the tempo. That shows a lot of poise and a lot of experience by that guy there. Not thinking to himself, hey, I'm third and long. I, I'm going to have to throw and make a really good throw here to go get this first. Hey, if it's not there, you don't got to force the issue. You're a good enough athlete to go take off and get it yourself with your legs. Beautiful job. The offense in hurry up mode. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He was going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this win. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the 
defender being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Pulls it in. It's Prentice. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de do. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. No chance to return. That one a booming kickoff out of the back of the end zone. It's a touchback. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Things have been clicking along nicely, Jesse, but they have to make sure they keep it up. Yeah, they got to wake up. It seems like they've been a bit lazadaisical here the last few drives, maybe, as we've seen this lead dwindle a little bit, David. So they need a bit of a spark here to get that mojo back. Yeah, and you always have the adjustments, and then your opponent adjusts, and now they got to readjust now because this game's getting a little bit tighter than they liked. As we come to the end of the period, Wisconsin has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Let's see what they've got on second down. Hand off from the gun. Makes a man miss. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. He's looking to throw it. He's going for a big play downfield. He's got it inside the 25. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. They tackle the war onto this lead, and they're on their way to a 3-0 start. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you've just simply got to make it. Wants to throw. It's Milrow. Moves around to clear up the vision. Still on his feet at the 45. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Alabama quickly back to the line. Looking to pass on second down. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this trip. Fires to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. And they got him. A sack denies to try to convert on fourth down. 
first down here for the offense. That's a tough place to be if you're the quarterback, too. On fourth down, the defense dials up the blitz, and you just feel the pocket constricting around you. It's like a black hole. There's just... He's loose. That continues to fight for yards. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First thing goal from the 8. And you see so many of these plays now in today's football. Wide receiver coming in motion, and the quarterback catches it, just flips it forward. That's a completed pass. Uh, you see the big plays where it just lets him get on the edge really, really quickly. Touchdown, Badger! And the punishment has been... Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Young. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Wants to throw on second down. They're bringing heat. They get a rough rush, and it pays off the sack in the 20. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's taking the deep shot. He's got it all right. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw. It's Milro. Got his man out of the backfield. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. And listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They've got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. Coming after it. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being this And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks like the offense was able to recover it. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Still running at the 40. And oh no, he loses the ball. Guys, this is a really good win for this ball club as they put together consecutive victories. And in this season, that's what you got to do. You got to put together good weeks, build on each other, build that momentum, continue to grow as the season goes on. Yeah, David, it's all about building confidence. And it's really important for these players to go out, work hard in practice, and see that hard work really pay itself off on game day. This is a team that's really starting to believe in itself. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.